Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. I wanted to share with you a Dollarama haul that I have. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I bought these glitter bows, these pink iridescent, they're kind of like iridescent, but I guess they're more glitter than anything, bows. I thought they were super adorable. I think they were only a dollar twenty-five, maybe. Oh, there's nothing on it, so we got those. I bought these. Um, this is a repurchase. Our, I just love these. Uh, the the Huggies Pure, ninety-nine percent pure water, and um, they're really good. I think these were two fifty or three dollars. I bought two of these little wooden plaque signs here. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably use my Cricut, as you guys can see behind me. I don't use it a lot, and my uh, twinsy Samantha um, is encouraging me <laughs> to use it a little bit more, so you can thank her. Hopefully later you'll see something nice, but I bought these, figured have it on hand, and when I do get in the mood, I can make them. They're only $1.50 each, can't go wrong, and they're really thick, so it's not bad. Um, I always like to have tape on hand. I use it all for Christmas. So um, this is a transparent tape and it was only a dollar. I did get a couple uh, Christmas ribbon that were left over and it's gold and has the red going through it. I thought that was really, really cute. So I picked that up. And that was only a dollar for uh, three meters by six millimeters. And then the last one of the ribbon or trim that I picked up was this one. It's like a braided type. Um, I thought that was super adorable. You can always work with gold. So that was a dollar twenty-five, and you get one point eight meters. So not bad either. Um, I bought a two thousand and twenty-one weekly planner, um, monthly, daily, whatever. I'm going to use that for, um, uh, come like with my, eight, uh, memory dex card. I can spit it out, Joanne. Uh, my memory dex cards and that trying to get the birthdays organized and that, but I may have another idea for it. If not, then I'll give this to my girl, Jenna. Uh, I found these two adorable little bowl type things. Um, over in my jewelry side, I do like using these because if I'm working on a project with different colors of beads when I do my jewelry, um, I like to have multiple uh, little cups around just so I can keep my beads organized. It's a part of my OCD that I have. Um, then I also picked up, I went to the Valentine's Day stuff. Now, I'm not, I, I don't typically um, craft with every holiday that comes by like valentine's day halloween that's just not my thing but i did and i probably will do a little bit of crafts but i won't be picking up stuff maybe i'll do a little dollarama tour um and just take you through the store as opposed to buying that stuff because i just it's not my thing so um i bought these little uh mini lights and I love having LED lights. I don't know what it is. Our, when we go camping, I have them all over our campsite. And they just hang from the trees or from the camper. And then every night we go to bed, we click every single one of them off. They're good in the rain, by the way. Uh, just the regular ones. I've used them for the last three years and they're still going. So um, but bought two of those and they have the hearts on them. So I thought that would be cute to have in here. I uh, bought this uh, Mod, now, I've heard someone say this before, I call it Mod Podge, <laughs> but it's Mod Podge, um, and this is the gloss, so I picked that up, I think it was just $1.25, I have the other one, so I just wanted to make sure I had both, um, going back to the Valentine's Day, I picked up these um, uh, lollipop sticks, I like that they had the, the pink, the white, and the red, and um, I do use these for some crafts and I thought having those colors would be great. They were $1.25 and you got 40 pieces. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, and the last Valentine's thing that I bought was this confetti and it has love pieces in it and uh, some silver, silver iridescent hearts. And you can't go wrong with pink, so. And love, of course I love everybody, so put that stuff in there. Um, I did buy some of those um, fine tip silver, 
They are acrylic, metallic, okay, paint markers. And I've already showed you guys, I had some from um, Dollarama already, but I found these ones were new and they're silver and gold. I mentioned I will do a video on the markers as well as the, so these are the paint markers and then the other ones that I have, um, I'll be doing a video on these uh, washable or blendable water-based markers. So I'll eventually do a video on those as well. So I got those, I got, I got two of each because gold and silver I tend to use a lot. Um, I mentioned before I'm reorganizing my craft room and uh, trying to get things a little bit more handy. So now I get a lot more storage spots here. Um, so I bought this. I have a couple ideas that I'm working on. Um, I have I have another video that will be coming up of new um, die cuts, but that'll be later. And I'm trying to organize them to maybe fit them instead of the way that I have, put them in a little book or something on a magnet sheet. So I bought this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use, but I have a, a little blank spot there that I'm gonna use maybe for stickers or what have you. Um, that was $3 and I like that it's the weave type. I couldn't find the plastic ones or sorry, the, the gold metal one that I have already. I was trying to find two more, but I couldn't find them. So maybe I'll check another Dollarama. Uh, I got these heart shaped uh, gem stickers. Can't go wrong with hearts, $2. Um, yep, they're super cute, love those. I did find this uh, donut uh, zipper pouch and it was only $2.50, it's a nice size. And I have some donut stuff here that I'm gonna be sending out, so I thought, why not put it in this? Uh, and the last thing in my Dollarama haul, I do have another craft haul coming probably tomorrow night. Um, I don't like to overwhelm you guys with all my videos in one night. So I haven't seen this paper pad at Dollarama, um, Delia, and it's craft paper. It was only $4 and you got 50 pieces. This was the only one that I saw. Uh, they're 12 by 12 and only single-sided. A lot of the paper we have here is not double-sided, um, like in Dollarama or Michaels. I don't, I don't typically buy those big pads unless they're on sale or something. Uh, so, but the beautiful, look at the different, different patterns that are in it. And it is really, really pretty. I'll just take you through a little flip through. Look at those colors. I just thought the colors were perfect, especially with spring. You know, spring is coming, guys. You know that? <laughs> Let's get past this winter with all the snow we're going to have. I know it's going to be horrible this year. Uh, so, yeah, that's really pretty paper pad. Um, this, I think, has to be my favorite. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And you just look at these littles and it just doesn't do it justice to what the bigger pad looks like. So anyway, that's my Dollarama haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will go on to my other craft haul, um, which is Atlantic Fabrics. And I think I figured something out about Atlantic Fabrics, but I'll share with that with you in the next video. But anyway, that's all for our, uh, today. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well, taking care and staying safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.